Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. Now this video is for you if you are introverted like me and you have maybe in the past struggled with marketing or sales. And what I wanna to try to do today is give you some good tips to help you accelerate your business even if you uh, feel like you're shy on camera or you feel like that's holding you back. I think this is going to help you a lot. All right, and I have this broken into three different things. So number one, um, you need to really buy in to yourself. And what I mean by that is if you, let's say you are acting on camera and you pretend to be this other person that you are in real life. When, when customers meet you for the first time and you're not this like super energetic person uh, that they see on camera and they see you and you're kind of like low key and, and normal. Uh, then there's this weird disconnect. It's like, well, I thought you were this way because you're this way online, but now you're this way. And there becomes this weird disconnect um, between the customer and you and that hurts your business. And really when I say, you know, buy into yourself, that means that However, however you are in real life, that's exactly how you should be on camera. And to give you proof, the way I am in these videos is the exact same way I am in real life, right? And that has taken me years of doing videos to get to the point where I'm at now, where it's like, I really don't care what people think. Um, I have zero insecurity coming on here and doing these videos and I do it because I love doing these videos and I know these videos help a small percentage of people who watch them. And I know at the end of the day, if someone joins my program, if I'm this like super hyper guy on YouTube and then they join my program and I'm like real boring, then they're like, what, what the heck? Hey, I was being played the whole time, All right? And for me, I'm the same person. Same person I am in this video, it's the same way I am if I get on a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with you. Uh, same way I am if you come have dinner with me, right? It's the same person. I had to buy into myself and that's why the first piece of advice I would tell you if you're introverted like me is you need to buy into yourself and roll with it. Like there's going to be a certain population that is going to be attracted to what you say or what you believe in and then everybody else won't and that's fine. Like you're not gonna win everybody over regardless right? So that's number one, buy into yourself. Number two, the only way to improve really with your marketing is if you feel really confident with your product, right? And this has been something that's been a challenge for me um, over the last 12 years is, you know, at the beginning, I wasn't that, uh, I, I wasn't convinced with what I was selling to parents, because uh, if you know anything about me, I have a soccer training program and I struggled with sales at the beginning because I wasn't clear on what I was selling. I wasn't sold on the results um, with my program. And it made me kind of take a step back and realize, you know what? I need to focus more on the product and on the service and get really good results. When I have really good results, I feel more confident selling my program. and. The advantage with that is if you're introverted and you don't like going online and you don't like, uh, you know, being loud on the internet, <laughs> then if your product is so good, your customers will start telling other people about it and then you'll be able to get way more word of mouth uh, clients. And that's when you have like a good product. And when you have a good product though, you have more self-belief to go talk about it. And that is something I have noticed a lot with myself. I've noticed this a lot with other introverted coaches that I've coached within their business. And that's the thing. You got a good product, you're gonna want to talk about it. If you don't have a good product, you're gonna be shy. You're not gonna wanna market yourself. And when you have a great product, other people will start to talk about it. So they do the marketing for you, which is very different than just going on the internet, being loud, bragging about your program, and just trying to get attention. And that is why you can get a lot of referrals in your program when you focus on your program and you get great results with your clients. 
I think that's the easiest way to grow a business is take care of your uh, customers, take care of your clients, have a great program, get more referrals. Coaches that don't focus on that end up, you know, they, they run in circles with, with their business. They, they're they not focusing on what is the thing, like why are people paying? Well, they're paying for a result. It's like that with any business, You're paying for a result. If they, people don't get the result, they're not gonna tell people, uh, they're not gonna tell others about your program and they will tell others about your program about why it didn't work, which is not good for you, <laughs> all right? So get more referrals, have a great product. If you focus on that, you can exponentially grow your business without you having to talk about it all the time, but you want to talk about it more when you become more confident in it, all right? That's number two. Number three, the way that you can even if you're introverted like me, because it's like when I get off doing this video, it's like, like I spend most of my day talking to coaches in an environment where it's like I'm on Zoom, right? Or I see people in person, which I'm very comfortable doing. But when I shut down, like I shut down, like I don't work on the weekends, no one talks to me, I hang out with my wife. I have a very simple life that People will never see because like I'm not gonna turn this into a vlog channel, <laughs> right? My life is extremely simple, and I know how to turn off when I turn off, right? And with that being said, when I am on, when I am doing these types of videos, or if I'm doing any sort of marketing, the only way I can improve, and the only way you can improve, is if you practice and if you learn. Like if you learn marketing, if you learn copywriting, if you learn how to do videos, like, you just get so much better over a period of time. And to give you proof, if you watch, if you go back on this channel and you watch like, I would say even a year ago, right? One year ago, I am so much more uh, comfortable and confident talking in these videos than I was a year ago, right? And if you go back like five years ago when I started this channel, I, doing those videos was very painful for me. It was very hard. Uh, to shoot these videos. And the thing is, the only reason I've gotten better is because I've, I've, if you track this channel, at this point I have over like 550 videos. I mean, I have practiced something 550 times. That is a lot. And there's probably been at least 100 videos that I haven't published on this channel because I didn't think they were good enough, right? So you, if you practice uh, within your marketing, you can be really good even if you're really introverted. Right, so practice will will give you so much confidence in the future, and it doesn't matter who you're going up against. Right, like for example, there there are people that are super loud on social media. They're good looking. They're charismatic. They have all the qualities that I lack, and at the end of the day, I can absolutely dismantle their business. Uh, with my marketing and it's because I'm more consistent uh, it's because I don't care about people liking me or not I'm gonna attract the right type of customer and the right type of client and they're trying to cater to everybody all right and this is why again last thing I'll say is it, it's not going to be about you changing really who you are as a person with marketing, it's going to be you buying in more into yourself and doubling down on that and staying consistent with that because a certain section of people will like what you're talking about. All right. And they will uh, vibe with you. So that's it for today's video. I hope this helps. Um, being introverted is not an excuse. That, that is, a, I think, a superpower for coaches if they embrace it. That's it. See you later.